Election Day is less than three months away, and as campaigns prepare for the sprint to the finish, we are making sure you're prepared when you cast your ballot this fall. Tonight, our Ethan Kibbe is joining us here in the studio to continue, Ethan, our series of special reports. Where do they stand? And which major race are you looking at tonight? Well, Pennsylvania's got a lot of them, Eva, but we're going to focus uh, pretty local tonight. Democrat Dan Pastore faces an uphill battle in the race for the 16th Congressional District. The political newcomer is taking on Republican Mike Kelly, a 12-year incumbent in a district that was already red and just got more politically red due to redistricting. But let's talk about Pastore because... Everybody has to win at some point. That's how you become a, a congressman, even if you've never done it before. So we'll see if Pastore can do it. On abortion, he supports abortion rights. He says Roe v. Wade should have been overturned, should not have been rather overturned. And he says if elected, he'll fight for federal abortion rights. Pastore, though, isn't a typical Democrat when it comes to gun rights. He's a supporter of them. He has a tree stand in his backyard and says he's owned guns his whole life. When it comes to the economy, Pastore says his biggest concern is job loss in our region. He says Western Pennsylvania needs programs to train and maintain more workers. First of all, always tell the truth, always meet with the constituents and try to focus on bringing back good paying jobs to our region and stop this crazy partisanship. And as we always do, well, let's talk donors. This is a pretty easy one. Pastore's biggest donor is himself. He's spent over $200,000 on this campaign. The rest of his donors, really small donors, and just local people chipping in money toward this campaign. Certainly it will be a struggle, but that's why you have the election. You don't just go off of polling data. We'll have to wait until November to see. We'll do this again next Thursday with a look at another race telling you where another politician stands on the issues. Ethan Kibbe, Erie News Now.